Cora's specific fracture was unique in that it involved the kind of the proximal aspect of the metaphysis. The long portion of the bone is the diaphysis, and that's kind of the center of the long bone. Hers was very, very high, right up near the hip joint. And so oftentimes, in, at least in large animal species, we typically repair long bone fractures with plates and screws. Um, and there was just not enough bone at the top in that proximal metaphysis to be able to get enough purchase so that that plate would hold and basically create a secure construct. So that really wasn't an option for her. So interestingly enough, the, the options for her, I, I went and talked to Dr. Desjardins about the, the interlocking nail because I did think she was gonna be a candidate for that. Um, and if that wasn't gonna be an option for her, the other thing that I was gonna offer is actually a hind limb amputation. Her specific fracture was so high up near the hip joint that there was not enough bone left to be able to get good purchase to put a plate across it and get those screws anchored in there. So that wasn't really an option for her. And so the, the interlocking nail or the eye lock was, was a, a perfect instance of where that would be used to be able to save the leg. I think these cases were great for students because these both of these procedures are done commonly in small animal. I thought were great cases where they could use their small animal knowledge and their orthopedic knowledge for TPLOs and interlocking nails and those types of things on large animal cases so that they, they were learning the certain techniques and things that are used in small animal, but they also still had to think about, okay, this is a ruminant. This isn't, you know, a monogastric. So we got to think about how long, you know, we need to fast this animal before before the procedure and what antibiotics we can use and what NSAIDs we can use because they're they're not a dog. And so it was, it was a really good kind of meshing of both small and large animal. Um, and so these were really great cases for for students to kind of be able to realize that you even if you're not going into large animal a lot of the things that we do down here can be applied um, to what you're going to be doing in the future.